And I'm Luke. Today we're making mint chocolate, chocolate chip cake. cake. <laughs> 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 we gotta be the same. So when you hear me say mint, mint chocolate cake, that's how we're gonna say it. Okay. Mint okay. chocolate we're cake. Together right now. Ba, ba, da, ba, da. Hit it. I'm Emmett. And I'm Luke. Today we're making mint chocolate cake. cake. All right, so let's get started with our chocolate cake. And yes. then we'll show you our surprise for our mint element. It should be pretty fun. <laughs> okay, so we've got kind of a basic chocolate cake recipe working here. So we got flour and cocoa powder in this bowl. Can you mix that up for me? We'll just, we're trying to get all these ingredients homogenous. So we've got some espresso powder, which is kind of our secret ingredient here. So we've got two cups of flour in here. Yes, I know. <laughs> two cups of flour in here, three quarters of a cup of cocoa powder. We've got one teaspoon of espresso powder and one teaspoon of salt. I know it sounds like a lot of salt, but there's two cups of sugar going in here. And the salt and the espresso powder help to bring out that chocolate. It'll make it rich and chocolatey, even though we're just using cocoa powder. And also be careful, it kind of smells a little. Well, it smells like coffee. <laughs> you're, the, you're the one. Can I have some coffee? I'd like some coffee, please. Okay, so this is two teaspoons, I'm trying to remember, two teaspoons of baking powder and one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. Going in. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> this sometimes can get kind of messy. So we want to mix those in now without any liquid so that they don't clump up. Look, this is not a chocolate explosion cake. Uh, isn't that funny? Well, okay, that was the working title for this episode. Okay, so that's it. Can you be gentle? God. All right, two <laughs> cups of sugar. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo! laughs> Next time, and then click on the mouth. Next time, don't do it that fast. Why not? The dust is still here. I'm gonna get a different spoon for you. It haunts me. Go away. It haunts me. It haunts me. Nothing happened. <laughs> All right, be gentle, because if you scoop it out with that one, it's gonna go everywhere. Wait, I'm just gonna Okay, so that's basically mixed up now. What we wanna do, we have two eggs here, and we've got uh, half a cup of buttermilk and half a cup of almond milk. <laughs> a half a cup of vegetable oil, I'm just using sunflower oil, because that's what we used to cook with. And then uh, two teaspoons, I just three four, of uh, vanilla extract. We're gonna add our eggs into that. We wanna mix these up before they go in here, because you don't want streaks of scrambled eggs. It sounds like chickens drowning. Well, the chickens are drowning. The chicken embryos are drowning. Okay, I'm gonna call that good. So vigorously. Stop whisking so vigorously. I don't even know that. Spell vigorously. Uh, Alright, this is not gonna sit in this bowl. Alright, here we go. This is going straight to the sink. Boom! That's what we do when things don't work out the way we want. That's right. illegal. Make a little well for us in the middle of here. Good job. That's good work. Okay, so we're gonna pour that right in the middle and you can start stirring. Start stirring that up. We have one more ingredient. It's one cup of boiling water. So we're gonna wait till that gets mixed in there and then we're gonna add our boiling water. We don't wanna add it right on top of those eggs because again, we're not making scrambled eggs. I'm gonna get this cup of water. If you were making chocolate scrambled egg cake, you would probably do that. It's starting to look like chocolate cake now. It looks like chocolate cake. Yum! Does that look delicious? Nope. Yep. Alright, make sure you get any of those dry spots out of here. Alright, that looks good. So I'm gonna add the boiling water right on top and I need you to mix that in. Okay. Mix that in. Mix it in. Whoa! God, she scared me so much, I almost died! <laughs> <laughs> It looks like mud now. All right, so this is gonna go into two nine-inch cake pans. <coughs> I got really scared. <laughs> so those are uh, these cake pans are buttered. We put some butter in there. You can use cooking spray or whatever. Let me just put some flour right in there. Here, let me kind of check the consistency of this real quick. Looks pretty good. You know, if we had a stand mixer, this would be a lot easier. But uh, you know how that goes. All right, it looks you're good for the pan. It looks great for the fans. We do it for the fans. That's what we do around here. So if you wanted to be really precise, you would weigh this and then put equal amounts in each cake pan. We're not doing that today. Can't we weigh it? No, we can't. 
can't weigh it. We could. Let's <laughs> weigh it. We could weigh protein it. All right, so we are just gonna dump this. We're just gonna eyeball it. Just put your eyeballs in there and tell me when it's enough. I'm just gonna go back and forth. Hold on. Papa needs a wide first. Coming back in. I'm just eyeball where it is. This is not rocket science. Although cooking is a science. What's your favorite subject? Is it science? Yes. You're just saying that for the fans. No, I'm serious. Stop fronting, bro. Our most violent episode to date. You want to lick that? <laughs> well, now I gotta wash my hands. Okay, these are gonna go into a preheated 350 degree oven. Which I also preheated it. Yes, he did. And we'll check on them. I'll put a time in the description. Bye. Remember how we said the mint portion of this recipe was a surprise? Yeah. We are making marshmallow. Oh. <laughs> We are making mint marshmallow fluff. Oh Alright, so for the marshmallow fluff, uh, it's basically a meringue. Uh, and since it's confection, all of these since it's a confectionery, all these ingredients are measured out by weight. Okay, so we are gonna be cooking some sugar, so I'm gonna be taking care of this part. Add three quarters of a cup of corn syrup, which works out to like 234 grams or something. To that, we are gonna add one third of a cup of water, so not a whole lot, not for me so. And then we're gonna add three quarters of a cup of sugar. This was also measured out by weight. Again, I'm gonna put the recipe in the description. Actually, I'll do you one better. This is actually King Arthur Flowers recipe. Woo! That was loud, sorry. I'm gonna mix this up just a little bit. I we don't want to mix up sugar and water too much because it will start to crystallize once it heats up. Although we do have a lot of insurance because we have that corn syrup in there. But just to be safe, we're not going to do you anything crazy. have a lot crazy. of corn insurance? Yeah, because I saved lots of money. With Geico. <laughs> not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. <laughs> My insurance company is going to be like, Yo, Geico, huh? Mm-hmm. Listen here, buddy. Okay, so the temperature we're looking for on this is 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't ask me what that is in Celsius. I don't know because I'm an American and I'm proud to be an American. All right. Also, it was just supposed to be July a few days ago. So we're just going to let that cook. We're going to let that come up to temperature. In here, we've got three egg whites. Now, it will be best to have these at room temperature. They'll mix up a little easier. The protein won't be all tight. And these are in a very clean bowl. This is the bowl we mix the cake in. Wash it out thoroughly. All right, so took a brief intermission. Took the cake out of the oven. Took about 25 minutes to cook in our oven. So to these three egg whites in a very clean bowl that are at room temperature, we're gonna add half a teaspoon of tartaric acid, or as you might know it, cream of tartar. And that will also help to further denature those egg whites. I'm gonna mix it up real fast. I'm gonna keep checking on this, since for some reason I don't have a candy thermometer. But I'll make do! Alright, so this is an instant read thermometer, so we're at 220 right now. We're gonna mix these to soft peaks, and we're gonna wait for this to come up to temperature. Those are at soft peaks. And it looks like the sugar's almost numb. Remember, we don't want to agitate this too much. We don't want big crystals of sugar. You can tell this is gonna be flop. <laughs> Even smells like marshmallow flop. Does it? I'm not gonna lie, we kind of threw this recipe together. Uh, Emmett knew that he wanted to make a cake and marshmallows. So instead of actually making marshmallows, we decided to kind of recreate a mint Oreo, which is his favorite Oreo, and mine as well. Speaking of Oreos, <laughs> they are the best cookie ever. And those gluten-free versions, there are tons of gluten-free versions, but they're not done by the Oreo company. So. What about the ones that aren't Oreo gluten-free? They have their own kind now. Really? Yeah. I never heard of them. Apparently, they have a gluten-free one. They do. I think he's lying. No. You can literally tell this is going to be wrong. Do not. 
thought you were gonna lick that. I was like, you're a weirdo. I'm smelling it. Ideally, you would definitely want a candy thermometer. That way, you wouldn't have to sit here holding your hand over boiling sugar. Candometer. Candometer. A candy meter. Oh, that's candy. It's regerin a tin. Regerin. It's measuring a tin on the candy scale. The spa over here. That popped up into my face. I'd be a very unhappy camper. Two more degrees. One more degree. One more degree. All right, we're gonna pull okay. this off. Let's pour it. Pour it. Pour it. Turn pour that it. off. All right, stand back. Stand back. No, I need that. So I'm gonna make sure these are at soft heat still, and then we're gonna drizzle this in very gently. We don't want it hitting the bowl because if it hits the bowl, it's gonna cool off too quickly. And then it's not gonna mix in. That'd be bad. A little drizzle. We're doing it slowly because we want to gently cook those egg whites. That looks kind of like. Can you hold the bowl for me? Should have gotten a towel. You need to mix it, mix it. Not stir it, you need to mix it. Na, 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 na. Accidents happen, people. So we added all of our hot syrup in here. So I was doing it a little at a time. I would actually recommend adding a little less at a time. It's a lot to keep up with if you're just mixing it. Now, if you've got an electric mixer, it'd probably be a little easier. What are you doing? <laughs> all right, well, someone has mint all over their hands. Okay, so this is mixed. Mmm, look at that. How delicious. No, get your tongue out of here. Alright, so even after you pour it in and get it all mixed in, you still have to keep mixing it a little bit. You want it to cool down a little while you're mixing it. Okay. Why do you always have to start out the things and make this? Because it's just how it is. That's what it do. That's what it okay. do, Yugi. So I'm gonna add in, I'm gonna go with half a teaspoon of mint extract because I don't want this to taste like toothpaste. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna add that in. That's probably what it looks like. I want you to add in just a few drops of that. I'll, no, okay. Yeah. Because we wanna we wanna control what color it is. Yeah, we want it to okay, so that's a good color because it actually looks kind of like the cream on the oil. You don't want a little more? I think we should go a little more. Just like two more. Okay. Woo! He's scared him. He's like, fine. <laughs> I just opened it. I think it's a great color. Did you just have a heart attack on there? You got it right there? Ten minutes later. I'm back. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what did I say? I had a color. <laughs> That's a great candy, Paul Paul. <laughs> and you just add as much or as little as you want. I'm going to add in two more drops. Maybe three. Two. Three. Oh, gosh. You mix that up. <laughs> See how hard it is? I don't want to deflate it, so I'm still mixing it with the whisk. <laughs> This is gonna get thicker and thicker as it cools. Yeah. Which is what we want. It tells us that we did it right. But it also tells us where the arms are The disrespect you're surrounding! Mmm, look at that. You wanna taste it? Yeah. Just get a little bit. That is mint. I think that's the perfect amount of mint. I might need a little more. I think it needs a little more. You think it needs a little more? Okay, yeah. we'll go with a quarter teaspoon of mint. Yeah, but because it's good, but it just needs a little more kick. I mean, you can taste the marshmallow and you can taste the mint, but we kind of want the marshmallow, like the mint to be dominant, but the marshmallow kind of a little more dominant. A little more mint, mix that minty and mint. I put about another quarter teaspoon in there. You'll never hear me. He said he put another quarter in, and then he said he. A quarter of what? That you'll never A quarter of what? Of mint. A quarter of what? Teaspoon. There you go. A quarter of mint. He put two steak quarters of mint in there. All right. How are we looking now? Let's. Oh, we don't stick that back in. We already have our germs all over that. 
I'm never the only ones eating this. That's pretty good. Yeah, now the mint is more dominant. Okay, all of us think it tastes delicious. So, here's what we're gonna do. I know this has been a little <laughs> slight dash of episode here. <laughs> Putting things together right here. We're gonna let our cakes finish cooling. And then? They've been out for a little bit. We're gonna take them out of the pan and then we're gonna let them cool on the rack. Completely cool. Then we are going to finish up with assembly. What earthquake? We're gonna finish up with the assembly. So, see you then. Bye! Okay, so we're back. Cake is cooled completely. Our fluff is here. It kind of deflated a little bit while we were waiting for the cakes to cool down, but it just whips right back up. You see, it looks exactly like it did before. Okay, so we kind of talked about how we wanted to do this cake. We've decided that we're gonna scoop out some of the inside of this cake, leaving a layer at the bottom, so it does just ooze out the bottom. And then we're gonna take this fluff, we're gonna fill it in that cavity, and we're just gonna take the other cake and put it right on top of it. All right, so I made a little line for him. We're leaving about a half an inch border around the outside of the cake. We're just gonna scoop that right out. Kind of like when you make a sandwich and you don't want all that bread in the middle, so you scoop it out with your hand, make a little cavity, make everything go in there. Let's start from here, and we're not gonna go that deep. We're gonna go maybe like half the depth of the spoon. So it'll be real easy if we just go around and scoop it out you gently. Can't. Okay. Just scoop all that out. I've, I've separated it for you, so just scoop it into that hole. Did you taste it yet? No. We don't even know if it's good? What are we feeding these people? It's pretty good. All right, so we've gone a little deep, so let's cover that up. We're gonna see how this works out. Well, so what we wanted to do, we were gonna make That's four so layers. We we're gonna cut a hole in the top three layers and fill in what was originally going to be marshmallows, toasted marshmallows in the middle. And then I decided that it would be way easier and easier for you at home to replicate if we just made marshmallow fluff. And then we decided then? to make it a bigger hole. I'm gonna scoop just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Sure, sounds good. What do you think there, Bert? Bert, no, 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 no. Okay. You said Bert. I said Bert. Sounded like you said Bert to me. Ain't you never seen Sesame Street? Uh, Here, I... you want to lick that? No, you're not going to lick that, you're crazy. And then you need to pat it down really good so it it doesn't really get in the marshmallow box. It's like the marshmallow the one we like the marshmallows fluffed in a bowl. We don't even know what's gonna happen when we don't listen here. Yeah, we have no idea. We definitely did not test this. Hope you did not die at home. We're not gonna die. But we don't know how this is gonna turn out. We're just trying to figure out a way to get these two ingredients together. However you wanna slap these together, you do that. Let's pretty it up for the people at home. Oh lord. Let's pretty it up. This is this gonna be naked? Gonna be nakey? A nakey cakey? No. If there's any of this left, but we will put it on. Top. We can put a little on top. All right, we're just gonna fill that all the way up. It's the bad boy. Look at this bad boy. I'm the bad guy. Oh my gosh, that's scary. <laughs> so scary. Just gonna make that level. Put a little bit more. We need you. We. Woo -hoo -hoo. You want to try to use all of this, but if there's still a little left over, just put a little. I think it'd be cool to see it maybe a little. Oh, we'll see. No. Mm. This video too. It came out. We should probably make cake. We should probably make cake. Cake pop version. A cake pop version of this. A cake pop version. Of this. Ooh, now it's like hidden in there. I like that. How about we put this on top? That way people know kind of what's in it, and they'll be like, "Ooh, what is this delicious fluff? Oh, mint marshmallow fluff? Whoa!" Dude, I mean. Look, now it's like, oh, this is what awaits you inside of this cake. I like it. You wanna try and cut into this bad boy? I'm gonna do it. This is an experiment. Have I made that clear yet? This is an experiment. You can see it. <laughs> this is some rough cuts. You get it. What are you doing? You, get you can't give up now. Oh, I get, this is what I got to work with? You cut it like that and I got to work with that? Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Oh, oh, that 
marshmallow. Let's try this. That's a marshmallow explosion. It was originally going to be called a marshmallow explosion. Well, that's what it turned into because it looks like a ball. Oh, can I try? That tastes like man. Is it good? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited now. Yum! Yum! That is a total experiment. Gone. Whoa! That's so good. Mmm. That mint's pretty light, but it's good, right? Yeah. That cake is so moist. It makes it literally taste. There's a few marshmallow and mm. cakeified. Mint mm. Oreo. I think we did it. Ah! I might call this a success. Yeah, this is definitely a success. I freaking love the flavor of this thing. And now I'm gonna go and eat this. Well, hey, that's my trick! <laughs> okay, so, um, oh, there I am. So, uh, I'm Luke, and that, oh, and there I need you back. Who are you? Emmett! But this video's not over, people. Why isn't it over? Because we're making cake pops! Alright, we're gonna make cake pops in two minutes. Here we go. whirlwind going on here. All right, we're gonna dump half of these crumbs in here. All of them. We're gonna dump half of them. We're gonna take some of our leftover fluff, which and, isn't a whole lot at this point. And then we will mix it together and then form them into balls. Can I get a spoon? All right, you are a whirlwind right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta relax. Okay, we're gonna get this fluff in the bowl. Probably won't need too much, which is good because we don't have a whole lot left. Yeah, the rest you can like just drizzle onto the top of your cake like this. Okay, we're gonna get a plate. Let's just take them, and roll them. Just take them, and they're actually more Look. moist and it'll take them. That's why you don't want to add too much icing or whatever you're using in this case. Fluff. What is that? What are you doing? You're making pebbles over here. <laughs> the baby. <laughs> no. Mm. The babies. Mm. I'm making babies over here. This is how babies are born. <laughs> All right, we're gonna finish making a mess, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, Felicia.